Every day, we take in 24,000 breaths to fuel our body with oxygen and rid it of carbon dioxide. Oxygen is one of the most important fuels for our body. Most of us cannot survive a few minutes without a solid supply of oxygen. It is very important to keep our lungs healthy, otherwise it becomes harder and harder for our respiratory system to operate. Every one of our breaths are refueling our body with much needed oxygen and disposing carbon dioxide from our blood. Our organs require a rich supply of oxygen, so our lungs need to take in as much air as possible, as only 16% of air is made up of oxygen. The way our lungs get oxygen into our blood is all down in the microscopic scale. The tubes in our lungs, known as bronchus, branch off to become smaller and smaller until they become bronchiles and end at the alveoli. The purpose of the alveoli is to filter carbon dioxide out of the red blood cells that populate the bloodstream and fill them with oxygen. It does this through a very thin wall, one cell thick, designed to only allow oxygen particles in one way and carbon out the other way. Tiny veins surround the alveoli. Blue used blood enters the lungs from the heart to dispose its waste and collect oxygen from the alveoli. Then, rich with oxygen and bright red, it returns to the heart to be pumped around the body again. For particles to travel through the thin walls of the alveoli, it has to be moist. If the walls are dried out by smoke, it becomes much harder for oxygen to filter through, so your blood leaves the lungs without sufficient oxygen to supply to the body. Emphysema is a condition where smoke dries out the alveoli and destroys its interior, leaving it as a hollow, thick-walled bubble with fewer capillaries around the outside. When the bronchioles are diseased from smoke, mucus builds up and narrows and even blocks them. On a large scale, this can be very problematic. The heart is also subjective to damage from smoking. Over time, fatty foods cause plaque to build up inside your arteries and veins. As the plaque builds up, the space for blood to flow through becomes smaller, which increases the risk of a heart attack or even a stroke. It also decreases the amount of blood flow through the lungs, which means it takes longer for the blood to be oxygenated and so your body does not receive enough oxygen, which only leads to many more issues. When the opening is very small, a blood clot can completely block the artery, which instantly results in a heart attack. Smoking speeds up this process greatly, which means for smokers it takes much less unhealthy eating to be at risk of a heart attack or stroke. I hope that from this video you have learned some useful information on how deadly cigarettes can be and how they take their toll on your body. Make sure to never smoke a cigarette, regardless of how cool it may seem or of peer pressure.